back on Bob. And it's raining. And I came up here for a couple of days to uh, reapproach the holes. All right, so here's here's where I'm at. Okay, for starters, I'm gonna do some house cleaning. Subscribers, all right. I always have my hair in ponytail. Okay. If you are a subscriber, awesome. Thank you. I mean that. Thank you. That's why I did the thing with the shirts last year. I, I love it, and I love feedback from subscribers. And lately, I've been bumping into people who, like, watch the channel, but they're not subscribed or they're just hearing about it. Awesome. I, I love it. And I love, love, love when people walk up to me and go, oh, my God, that's the cutest little, like, YouTube channel. I don't even know what to call it anymore, but I just, I love it when people come up and actually say they genuinely liked it, even if they're not boat people, which... I think is probably the funny, okay, I'm sorry. Probably the funniest part is that a lot of them aren't boat people. And, okay, that's it. That's the last time I'm doing it. A lot of them aren't boat people, but they like the show anyway. And that cracks me up. So if you are a subscriber, thank you. If you're not, don't, don't leave yet. I want to talk to you. <laughs> if you are not a subscriber, and you are coming back for thirds and fourths, and maybe even fifths. Like if you're coming back and watching videos a lot, I'm a, I'm flattered. I am. I love that you are being drawn to them. I'd also really appreciate it if you would just subscribe, so that um, I don't know. It feels less awkward because I'm, I get wind of things like things get to me. You know, like not get to me. Well, things get to me. I'm human. I mean, things get to me, but. But like people will tell me that they, you know, they watch the videos, but they're not subscribers. Shame on you. Come on. Help me out, man. Do you, oh yeah. Let's talk about that. Do you know how much money that I make on Google so far? Anybody, anybody want to guess? Guessers, guessers. Hold that number in your mind. Just hold that number in your head. Wait till I tell you. I think it's up to $2 and 39 cents. In the last coffee with Bob. We talked about that cavern in the, um, shit, spilled my coffee. We talked about the cavern in the hole, in the hull, this void. Mm -mm. Initially, I thought it was like shaped like this. Mm -mm. No, it's actually shaped like that with a bunch of little cavities connected by wormholes. So why is this a problem? It's not just one hole opens up and pour. Mm -mm. So I did get the foam. I chose the U.S. Composites closed cell, high density, 16 pound, two part foam. You stir for 20 seconds or 20, 25 seconds. And then you have at the right temperature, which is 75, 80 degrees, 25 seconds to get it in place before it starts expanding. And it goes like this. <laughs> Barricaded. So the problem is, is that with those little cavities, uh, it doesn't flow down. Right? It, it fills in that cavity and that cavity and that cavity. But I don't have every cavity. I don't think I have every cavity identified. And this is when I had a conversation with Larry. Larry... I really love talking to Larry. Larry, I do not know your last name. I am so embarrassed right now. Larry works up at uh, Howdy Bailey Yacht Services. He is the one who made our bow sprit. He is the one who made our fuel tanks and our windless bracket. Larry is a perfectionist and he knows his stuff. When you get a call from Larry, you stop the clock and you listen to what he has to say. And I did. And I just stopped festering about them. And then I just put in a little bit of foam behind the wall in the hole, just behind the void to give the epoxy something to cling to. And now I started sanding. 
and that's the thing. So instead of doing a bunch of video of me sanding, which by the way, if you type on YouTube, gel coat repair or blister repair, OMG, it's endless. It's fucking endless. So I don't want to do that to you. I do not want to show you another video of me, of a person sanding. What I will say is after I have a couple of different sanding sponges that I have become familiar with through all my research and people have said, Hey, use this. So what I'm going to do is a, the ultimate, the one, the only, the best ever. If you're going to do this, this is the tool to use. Boom, boom, boom. And just do a quick sample of why I like it because I do like my tools. <laughs> it's such a dork. I got lectured by my niece about my online presence and how I'm on YouTube and that's mega social media. Has anybody heard that? Cause I didn't think YouTube was social media necessarily. Um, I don't see it in the same way But she says to me, it's like the ultimate social media. And so that I'm putting myself out there on YouTube. Mind you, my niece is 25. So it was very awkward to be listening to her, like lecture me, like, Aunt Chloe, you know, I'm extremely worried. Um, she is extremely, but she was well, very worried about your, in, your online presence. You just have people watching you on the internet. <laughs> like if you don't think people aren't watching you, honey, I'm not the one with the problem. <laughs> Hello, Uncle Sam, stop spying on me. <laughs> did I just say that? Yeah, I did. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I might not have a channel after this. Yeah, but so that's my point. This is just me. I'm just being me and I love my boat. So that being said, I have, I have questions. Okay. I'm going to pause right here. So I'm going to pause right here and ask everyone to take a look at the sanding I've been doing on the holes. That's the back fill. Uh, the foam is in the back there. And now I just need to, that's the other hole, sand it out bevel the edges. But here is the golden question. Are you ready? What angle do you bevel at? I just need to know because I feel like I'm not getting it s shallow enough. Like it looks a little steep to me. Let me know your thoughts, please.